Glory be to God. Today I want to come and to talk to you women about men. And being that I'm a man, who is better to know of a man than a man? Being that you are a woman, who is there better to know a woman other than a woman? To the God of heaven, we give thanks for this day. And I want to use for a subject, run to see if you can find a man. Run to see if you can find a man. There is this old age question. The question that so many of you are asking. Where have all the good men gone? Then you turn right around and you answer the same question that you just asked. You say, oh, many of them, they're in the grave. And then you say, there are some, not many, there are some who are already married. And then you say, there are those who have gotten too old. Men, women are concerned about us. They're yet asking questions about us. But when you look for us, you can find us on storefronts. We're at the stores. We're sitting around on benches and we're talking one with another. Benches that have been pulled out for us and just keep us down from year in to year out. We're there, we're growing old upon these benches. You will find some of us, even while the music is playing and it's getting louder, you find us riding up in cars four and five deep, bouncing to music. Men, the women are yet talking about us. And they're just trying to figure out just where we are, where have we gone. You look around and you see some of these men caves. By the time the sport channels come on and all of the football and basketball and all of these things come on, you'll find us all together, grouped together in these caves. Women, when you're looking for a man, there's no need that you look any longer. You read Proverbs chapter 18. And verse number 22, the Bible tells us, when a man find for himself a wife, he had found for himself a good thing, and he obtained favor in the eyes of the Lord. God will grant you a man. There is no need that you look for him any longer. Where have all the good men gone? You find some of them that are burning within themselves, man toward man. They're getting together as lovers. They have left this desire of the woman. Romans chapter 1, the same thing is going on even in our world today. Men are wanting to marry other men, even though the women are doing the same. But today we're talking about the man. Where have all of the good men gone? This question is yet being asked and is needed to be answered. But you women who are out there, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived by men who will deceive you. And when God sends you a man, don't run him away. Don't run him off. Love him. Honor him. Respect him. He will love you. He will respect you. He will honor you. And every man that you find, where have all the good men gone? They're not all in the church. Even there are those of us in the church. We will fool you at times. Just keep praying. Keep trusting that God will send you that man that will find you. And when he do, don't run him away. Just accept the blessings of God. 
God bless you and God keep you. Read Jeremiah the fifth chapter. The Lord said to him, Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. Go into the broad ways and see and to find. And if you can find a man that executed judgment, that served the Lord in truth, then I'll pardon that city. We're yet looking. Women are yet looking and they're asking questions about us. We need to stand up and be accountable as men. And men, when we find a woman, a woman that we choose to marry, choose to spend time in a relationship with, getting to know one another, that one day we might become husband and wife, we must learn to appreciate her. A real man, he don't fight, batter, and abuse a woman. But he honored, he cherished, he loves, and he appreciates her. God bless you. Stand up and be a man. Stand up and be accounted. If you're not a Christian, you need to be. You say, what must I do to be saved? You must hear the gospel of God, Romans 10, 17. You must believe his word, Hebrews 11 and 6. Repent of your sin, Luke 13, 3 and 5. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son, Matthew 10, 32 through 34. You must be baptized in water that your sins is washed away, that you meet the blood of Christ and that all of your sins are washed away. Acts 2.38, Mark 16.15 and 16. We must continue to be faithful unto death. Revelation 2 and 10, John 8.31 and 32. So if you're not a Christian, why not now? Why not today? Visit the Church of Christ when you can. And when you do, and once you get there, please ask questions. God bless you, and God keep you until next time. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen.